Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download SyncOS and install it as a virtual machine on VirtualBox. I will also show you how to get full screen of SyncOS on VirtualBox. To install any operating system in a virtualized environment, we need the ISO image file of the operating system. So for this, in my Chrome browser, I search for download Saint OS 8 and hit enter. From the first link from saintos.org, I'm going to click on download Saint OS link. Here, as you can see, uh, we can download Saint OS in two forms of ISO images. Uh, one is Saint OS Linux DVD ISO, and another is Saint OS Stream DVD ISO. So, what's the difference? You can read the difference about that. For now, I'm not gonna spend time on it. Uh, we need CentOS Linux DVD ISO. So uh, you can just click on this link to uh, get the direct download link or directly download the ISO image file. Or you can also prefer to download via torrent. As my internet is not so stable, I prefer to download it via torrent. So I click on via torrent link. Here you can see a list of the mirror sites to download CentOS ISO image file. Uh, I'm going to click on the first link. Here you can see the parent directory. And here we can see CentOS 8.1 uh, blah 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 uh, dash boot dot ISO of 597 MB. This is the direct uh, download link. If you click on it, this file will be directly downloaded from the browser. As uh, we can see, its size is 597M. I don't think this is the full ISO image file. This might be the minimal version of CentOS. So if I go a little bit down, uh, we can see the torrent file for that. Uh, that is of 24K. Uh, I think this is the torrent file uh, of this minimal version of CentOS. Uh, going a little bit down, we can see um, CentOS 8.1 of 7.0 GB. This must be the full-fledged uh, version of um, CentOS 8 with all the packages uh, including the desktop or the genome packages for graphical user interface. Uh, and then we can also see here uh, ISO manifest, uh, ISO manifest that's not required for us. CentOS 8.1 DVD 1 dot torrent of 282K. Uh, this must be the torrent file of this uh, ISO image DVD. So I just click on this to download the uh, torrent file. I just click on click on desktop. I temporarily want to uh, save this file on desktop. So click on save. The torrent file is downloaded. I just click on it. Uh, it redirects me to the BitTorrent. Uh, the download location is downloads. It's okay for now. And uh, the name of the DVD is uh, is a default one. Uh, so click on OK. OK, the download begins now. Uh, it may take some time depending upon your internet speed. Uh, so I'm going to pause this video and I will be back after the download is complete. OK, the download is complete. Now uh, that we have the Saint OS ISO image file downloaded. I just right click on it and click on open containing folder. Click on continue. Here in this PC, local disk C, users, MSI, downloads, I have the ISO image file of Saint OS 8.1 in the folder Saint OS 8.1. Now using this ISO image file, I'm going to install CentOS 8.1 in VirtualBox. So for that, I open VirtualBox, which is already installed in my system. I just search for VirtualBox and click on it. We will create a new virtual machine. So click on machine and then click on new. Give the name of the virtual machine, for example, Saint OS 8.8.1. You can give any name to your virtual machine. This is of type Linux and the version is 64 bit. That's okay. 
click on next by default one gb bytes of ram is selected and it is the minimum recommended memory size but i'm gonna increase it to uh, 4 gb so that the installation process gets faster then click on next i click on create a virtual hard disk now and then click on create i leave the vdi or virtual box disk image selected then click on next the size dynamically allocated next file location and size uh, this is the hard disk size or the size allocation for the centos files to store uh, by default it's 8 gb selected that's okay but I i'm gonna increase it to at least uh, 15 gb then click on create now we just created a new virtual machine but we don't have iso image or the CentOS 8.1 DVD pointed on this virtual machine. So for that, I right click on this virtual machine CentOS 8.1, click on settings, and then click on click on storage. Here, I click on empty and click on this uh, DVD icon. Then choose then click choose a disk file. Here I have the ISO image in my downloads directory and the Saint OS 8.1 folder. This is the ISO image. I just click on it and click on open. Click on OK. Okay, now we are ready to start the installation process. Just click on start from here or you can right click on it and click on start and then normally start. Click on start. Uh, install CentOS Linux 8. Okay, just hit enter. You can just press escape to avoid the disk checking. It's not required for now. So I just escape that checking. What language would you like to use during the installation process? It is uh, English and it's okay for me. So I click on continue. As I click on continue, my mouse pointer goes out of this screen. Then it's very difficult for me to uh, figure out the things. I cannot go inside this. So uh, let's see how to travel through this. It's, it's so difficult. See, uh, it's not letting me to use anything in the uh, installation process. So let's see how to travel through it. So just click on close button and then power off the machine. Click on OK. It's powered off. Then click on setting in the system. Here you can see pointing device is PS slash to mouse. So I just click on it and from the drop down menu, I click on USB tablet and then click on OK. Now let's see if the problem is solved. So to verify, uh, click on start again. Select the install Saint OS 8. Okay, now I click on continue and the mouse is not going anywhere. It's solved. Here in the installation destination, we are going to install in the hard disk. So click on done and then click on begin installation. Create a root password. I'm just gonna create the root password as red hat and confirm the password, red hat, then click on done. As the password is weak, we need to click done twice. The installation is preparing transaction from the installation source. So it may take some time to progress and as the installation process develops if anything is required there i will resume the video and give the required things but for now i'm gonna pause this video as it's full installation it has to install a lot of packages including the genome desktop or the graphical user interface packages so it may take some time okay uh, the installation is complete
and as you can see that Saint OS Linux is now successfully installed and ready for you to use. Go ahead and reboot to start using it. So just click on reboot button. It will restart and we will get the Saint OS installed on our system. It's going again on the installation loop. So I just click the close button to power off and then I will reorder the boot sequence. Just click on OK. Again go to the virtual machine and then click on settings. Click on system. The first boot order is floppy disk. Second optical drive and the third one is hard disk. So it's going on boot loop. Here in the boot sequence, I need to set the first boot device as hard disk now. So I just click on it to select, then press the up arrow to move up. The first one is hard disk. Second one, let's give the optical drive, but that's not really required. Then click on OK. Now let's click on start. Just press enter, click on license information, click on I accept the license agreement and click on done. Then click on finish configuration. You get the welcome screen, just click on next, click on next, click on skip. For example, I'm giving my name as Sanjay Regmi and uh, the username as Sanjay Regmi, that's okay. Then click on next. Let's just uh, give the password as red hat and red hat again. Then click on next. Uh, okay, now you are ready to go. Start using Saint OS Linux. We can see the login screen of Saint OS 8.1. I just click on this user that I just created. The password I have given is red hat and then hit enter. Again, we have got a screen that includes the, some getting started videos. I just click on close to close. Now we can see uh, Saint OS 8.1 is installed on the virtual box, but it's not in the full screen. To get the full screen, I just click on view and click on full screen mode. Still, I'm not getting the full screen. I got the full screen of Oracle Virtual Box, but I'm not getting the full screen of this Saint OS desktop. So let's see how to get it. So let's see how to get it. Just hover on the bottom and here you can see a uh, view. Click on full screen mode. Now you need to install some additional tools to get the full screen. Now power off the virtual machine and let's see how to get it full screen with 100% working technique. First of all, we should make sure that the video memory in the display section is 128 MB. For now, as you can see, it's 16 MB. So let's increase it to 128 MB. For that, click on settings and drag the pointer all the way to the end or the maximum which is 128 MB and then click on OK. Now start the virtual machine. Wait until the Saint OS boots up. I log in to the Saint OS with my password. We can see the Saint OS desktop again. If I click on view and then full screen, it's not full screen. Again, exit from the full screen. Now we will install some tools in the Saint OS. On the top left corner of the desktop, click on activities, click on terminal. Now here you need to run a couple of commands to install the prerequisite required tools. So type as sudo space m space minus y install space gcc. I assume you are beginner, so don't care about the commands, about what they do, but just type as I do. You will understand about them later when you start learning Linux administration. Give your login password. I am getting error. Fail to download metadata from repo app stream. If you get this type of error, 
make sure you have internet connectivity. I think my connection is turned off. So I click on connect to turn it on. Pressing the up arrow, I run the command again. Okay, it's complete now. Now run another command as sudo space yum space install space make space par. Press Y to move ahead. It's complete now. Now run another command as sudo space yum space minus Y space install space kernel dash devil space dollar in the parenthesis uname space minus r okay it's complete now run another command as sudo space yum space install space elf utils dash leave elf slash dash devil when prompted press y Okay, it's also complete. Now click on activities and click on files. Click on the eject button of VBOX to unmount the guest installation DVD. Then click on close button. Now click on devices and click on insert guest additions CD image. If you are prompted like this, click on run. Type the password and hit enter. Wait for some time until the guest addition tools are installed. Click on your user. Again, click the username and give the password. Wait until Saint OS boots up. Okay, it's booted up. And we can see the desktop. Now we should get it on full screen. Let's see that. Click on view and click on full screen mode. Okay, now it's full screen. Now you are all set to start working with Saint OS and now onwards you feel better and nicer. Okay friends, this is how we can install Saint OS 8 on VirtualBox, resolve mouse stock problem and get the Saint OS 8 full screen in the VirtualBox. If you are stuck anywhere, please write me in the comment section. I will be happier to help you. That's all for now. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon if you haven't already. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next videos. Until then, have a nice time. Goodbye.